there's always time for a sip of tea. Anyways, this video is gonna be about me outlining this new format on the channel. Facing fears, that's the deal. It's kind of rejection therapy, but we're focusing more in on the fear part. It's about designing an action, some kind of request, something that that makes you put in an effort that scares the crap out of you. It may give you a rejection, it may just be scary as heck, but it brings you towards your goals because the idea is to design this action, question or whatever, to make it align with your goals, where you want to go, whether it's in business, career or relationships. I've been all over the place lately, self-esteem, rejection therapy, personal development quests. I'm now trying to narrow it down, trying to have a clear focus you can actually know what this channel is all about. I think you've made your point, Goldfinger. Thank you for the demonstration. And the big core message is face your fears and live the life you want to live. That's, that's, that's the gist of my channel. I do that because that's just the life I want to live. That's how I want to go about life. So I'm trying to design this in a way that aligns with my life. I'm trying to make this journey and I'm trying to bring you along the road. So just because I have this new focus, it really doesn't change much. I'm still gonna use self-esteem as a fundamental piece in what we're doing here. Everything I do, everything we do, I'm gonna look at through the lens of self-esteem building actions. And that's the reflections I'm gonna share. That's the, the deep skills that I've developed throughout this journey and are going to continue to develop self-esteem is a fundamental piece of this channel but we choose this this action of facing our fears as our main vehicle for raising our self-esteem and i'm going to do that with these weekly challenges outlining some clear objectives each week they are going to be general and they are going to be for you as well but together we can grow, we can create the life we want to live. But we only do that by pushing through that inertia, going against that anxiety attached to these fears we have. If I want to get something done, in 99% of the cases it means I have to, to do something scary. Something scary that requires deep motivation and action. It requires me to take action creating this massive force social support commitment to each other to go after what we want we'll just have to wait and see how this develops maybe it's going to be a weekly theme business career maybe it's going to have one day for one life area we'll see i just have to try and figure things out as we go along but the first week the theme is career development. I am gonna apply for a business competition, developing a business ID, and all the, the facing fear actions I'm gonna take this week are gonna, are gonna align with that end of the week goal. Friday is due date. Five actions, five things. Oh, it's gonna be such a hard effort, but it is gonna be worth it. That's the whole idea. It is gonna make me grow my self-esteem and take me towards my goals, living the life I want to live. Now business and career, that's just this week's theme. Next week, maybe focusing a bit more on relationships and girls. That means flirting with random girls perhaps, getting a date, we'll see. We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, I'm super excited. I'm super, super, super excited. So to outline the first week's objectives, I'm gonna talk about the details for how this is gonna look for me later on, but I'm now I'm presenting the general idea. Monday through Friday, five things. The first thing is reach out for advice. That's like going to a mentor, to a person that has knowledge within your area. Reaching out to that person and asking for advice in an area that, that you want to, to grow in. The idea is that this is something that should be face-to-face -face or on the phone. You're gonna have a, 
a conversation using your vocal. Yeah, these things. It's called stem bond in Swedish. So that's the idea. Because on Tuesday, the second day, we have this reaching out theme. And that means maybe sending an email to someone. Maybe making a phone call to someone. But it doesn't have to be about asking for advice. It could be perhaps a proposition. Do you want to have a col uh, collaboration? I want to make this happen. Can we do something here? So it's it's about letting people know that you exist perhaps. Making some kind of action that puts you on other people's map. And the third day, Wednesday, it's all about some kind of negotiation. Whether it's a, a business proposal or it's so, something you need to, to buy and that means you can hustle, you can try to bargain to get a good price. It's a business related negotiation in some some sense. I mean, it could be a family related negotiation. It, it relates to the same social skill like trying to negotiate. That's a very powerful skill within business and, and career. And that is the main area we're trying to go deeper in. And then we got the fourth day, Thursday, and that is all about asking for feedback, whether it's to a friend of yours, some business related colleague or maybe you're having a project some kind of feedback so you can actually grow from external input and then lastly we got Friday you are gonna create something that you put out there creation is how we actually contribute to the world whether it's a text a video or a business ID perhaps because that is actually my first Friday goal I am sending in a proposition for a business ID and that is due on Friday so I'm gonna create something this week and then I'm gonna post it and that is actually what all these other actions are gonna relate to I'm gonna ask for adv advice by a banker he's gonna have a discussion with me about my, my vague business plan and then Saturday I'm reaching out I'm gonna find someone to reach out to for some kind of collaboration I don't know but just doing that reach out but it will align with this Friday goal I have here and then the negotiation part I don't know maybe that's just I need to buy something so maybe I can try to bargain but then the, the Thursday feedback I'm gonna ask for feedback on my business plan maybe from a friend or someone and then Friday I'm actually gonna send it in perhaps the most scariest part and you see all these different tasks these objectives it is all things that scare the shit out of me it really is something that I most likely wouldn't have done if I put up this challenge and I outed it here with you that's the, the, the power with social commitments with sharing what you what you want to do then you're you're responsible to to deliver to someone i'm responsible to deliver to you guys because i'm trying to live a life with integrity self-esteem integrity means doing what you said said you were gonna do and now i'm telling you guys i'm gonna do this so that means i have made a commitment that means i have to fulfill this commitment otherwise i will lose my self-respect i will not practice a high level of of integrity and if you've been with me previously you will know that self-esteem integrity they are closely intervened and it's so important for your well-being for your health for for your just sense of being alive I am gonna talk a whole lot about self-esteem throughout this journey but that's that's something you'll just discover as we go along but so that is the weekly challenge the first of its kind with this facing fears deep and I'm super excited and I hope that you join this journey maybe you don't have to do it all but maybe pick one thing that you're gonna do this week and actually make the commitment to me <laughs> I'm losing it commit to me down there in the comments or why not send me a snapchat and say hey Alex I'm gonna do this I don't care just put something out there so you are responsible to me or to someone else so you get that extra push to actually follow through on what you want to do. Moving yourself every week towards your goals. Reaching that, that vision of yours. But it's not going to happen if you're not persistently putting out actions that take you towards or having a strategy for what you want to reach. 
monitoring your behavior, working productively towards those, those things, and then actually looking at the outcome. Is this what you wanted? Otherwise, course correct and do the whole loop again. This is all from the fifth pillar, living purposefully from the book, The Six Pillars of Self-Esteem. Oh, I love self-esteem. This is just gonna be freaking great. This is gonna be great, I'm telling you. So my name is Alexander Nilsson. Thank you for watching, thank you for being awesome. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't so we can do this together. Bye guys. Yeah.